What does blue taste like? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today we're gonna learn all about food science by tasting colors. Ooh, and today's episode is sponsored by Raycon, whose wireless earbuds sound just as amazing as the other top audio brands that you know. Raycon's everyday E25 earbuds are their best model yet with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. They also come in new fun colors like titanium. And if you can't picture titanium, think of Link's hair color, but cooler. Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market, which is great because just think about all the things you can buy with the money you save. Like hair dye. Or scissors. No, the future of GMM is Lion Face McLaughlin and Titanium Head Neil. Raycons are great for working from home, working out, and listening to music and podcasts for hours without driving your roommates, boyfriend, girlfriend, or Lion Face best friend crazy. Go to buyraycon.com slash GMM or click the link in the description below to get 15% off your order. Okay, Rhett, turn on the science part of your tongue cause we're about to taste some colors. It's time for, they say color can affect the taste of food. So let's find out if that's false or true. By the way, do you spell color with a U? I don't, cause I'm an American. Okay, according to scientific research, color is the single most important sensory cue when it comes to setting people's expectations about what their food will taste like. Changing the color of food can create a dramatic impact on its taste. So today we're gonna take a series of scientific tests to determine how much of an impact color has on food and in doing so, we're gonna determine if color does in fact have a taste. Let's get to it. Okay, this first test is based on a 2015 experiment by London chef Joseph Youssef. Love his work. <laughs> Joseph Youssef. Mm -hmm. <laughs> whose goal was to determine if we have a preconceived notion about what colors we attach to certain flavor profiles. I bet we do. Before you are four different colored and flavored puddings. I'm going to prompt you to taste them in a specific order based on your own personal guesses. Okay. You must eat the entire spoonful of each pudding. Just so we're in the right frame of mind, like we're not gonna do this like our typical games where we're like, is there reverse psychology? Are you trying to trick us? Like, this is, this is like we're going to a university setting and they said, Mr. McLaughlin and Mr. Neal, we need you to just be as normal as possible so we can get the best data. And so Correct. we're gonna be so super normal this whole episode. There are I no get paid in cash. This is my normal voice. Do I get paid in dollars or euros? Okay. Do I have to give plasma? Ready? Yes. First, I want you to taste the salty pudding. Salty pudding. Okay, and again, no trickery here. It's just we're going with our guts. We should go at the same time. So we'll do, do a three, two, one. Salty? Here we go. Three, two, one. I think this white one's salt. Oh, you went with the red one? Yeah. Why do you think red is salty? I don't know. I'm I'm not thinking about you just got, got I'm not it. thinking like salt is white, which is what you did. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I just said which one says salt to me and I just right. went with the red. Okay, remember you've picked different ones, so consume the whole thing, but don't give any indication as to what the flavor profile is. Link's giving me an indication of something. But I'm being completely normal. Okay. Next. I need you to choose the bitter one. Okay, bitter. What would be bitter? Okay, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. See, I think the red one's bitter. I can't articulate why. I don't know, it's like, I'm not blood, thinking. isn't blood bitter? My blood doesn't look like that, unless I had a lot of fast food. Do you know why you picked green? I'm not trying to think of a, I'm not trying to make a logical connection in my mind like, green looks like this plant, that might be bitter. I'm just like yeah. looking at it and just seeing which just one sounds bitter. To, to, your, to your psyche. Yeah. Three, two. So now we both tasted the red. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you having some trouble? No, I'm, I'm okay. normal. I'm you're, you're making me a little scared I'm, to try the green. I'm so normal right now. I need okay. you to choose the sour one. Oh, see, see, this is this is all right. I'm ready. Three, two, one. The green one's obviously sour because, like you said, like I'm thinking like sour apple type thing. Mm. 
Oh my god! Yeah! Oh, did spit just fly out of my mouth? Because, oh gosh. Was that a little sour? <laughs> yeah. Okay, the last one, the sweet one. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, just the normal. Oh my goodness. Now we're both tasting this so we can talk about it. That's bitter. That's bitter and that's bad. That's real bitter. We both tasted all of them. And the only one all of them were bad. It's really interesting how you did this because in his ah. test, 75% of the guests match the color to the flavor that the chef intended, proving that most of us do associate a certain color with a certain flavor profile. Now, Link, you kind of did it. Um, on I the was first right about one, salty. Yeah, you were right about salty and you were right about sour as well. Well, yeah. right, right um, is a relative term. Well, yes, but that, the the point was like sh the more more sheep like would be another way to say, like the masses, like seventy five percent of all people. Okay, so I guess we've proven oh. in this very small test that that's not true. Um, but usually, people associate a certain color with a certain place. So I didn't. Profile. I didn't do any of them right. So red is sweet. not one. Uh, correct. You didn't do any of them right. Yeah, I gotta eat some more of this to get that other that taste. That red's out of my good mouth. though. Red is sweet. Got to remember that. Get so I can be a normal human. Okay, so this next Ready. taste test was conducted by color expert Dee Dee Williamson. Love her work. Two dozen students aged 16 to 18. They were given three different drinks of different colors and asked to describe the flavor. Before you are seven different colored drinks. Let's see if you can identify their flavor in a speed round. Please taste each drink and immediately blurt out what flavor you think it is. We're going to start with the red drink in three, two, one. Um, Cherry. Um, uh, vanilla. Pink. Um, uh, like, a, like a lime? Well, I say it's a citrus, but it's... it's Great, grapefruit. Pomelo. Thick. Blue. Oh. Uh. Um, what is this? Um, cherry. No, that's, it's medicine. Generic medicine. Like Yellow. cherry medicine. Uh, mouthwash. Uh, mint. Purple. Ah, uh, now I can't taste anything. Mmm. Watermelon? Mmm. The color really does throw me off. It is a fruit. Uh, tis abstain. It is a fruit. Orange. Very subtle, very subtle. Maybe a teeny bit of a uh, of orange. I know it's orange. I can't taste anything. I've lost the ability to taste. You've killed my tongue. I can't. I don't have a guesser or a taster anymore. Well, maybe it's nothing. Maybe that's like, the, that's what it is. Right, flavorless. Green. Uh, pi oh, cinnamon. pine. Oh, Cin yep, that's cinnamon. <laughs> pine. See, you wanted to say pine because it's green. <laughs> Did okay. you close your eyes? Did you not look at the colors? So the results of the actual test reinforced many scientific studies that have consistently shown consumers have strong, maybe even unconscious, associations between flavors and colors. So mm. let's go through what you guys did. The red was vanilla, mm. as Rhett guessed. It's not cherry. The mm. pink was orange, but you both were in the same area. Yeah. Yeah. The Great. Blue was almond. That's tough. What? Oh, yeah. It's got like a, ha I would call that like hazelnut, like a hazelnut flavor mm. to your coffee. What did we say it was? You said cherry and Link said generic medicine. I stand by that. The yellow was mint. You both were in the right area well, there. That was strong. Yeah. The purple was apple. Apple? Oh, yeah. Sour. Oh, yeah. Sa like sour, like green apple. Mm. The Orange was cranberry. Oh, that should be obvious. Too subtle. Cranberry is usually, you know. Too subtle. And the green was cinnamon. Yep. Or, yep. or pine. <laughs> oh, it makes it tough. The, the color, so, I color mean, is a big, powerful well, thing. And I mean, I think what, what we just learned is that you're a little bit more susceptible to it. You said that this was cherry and that this was pine, <laughs> and look at the colors of them. I yeah, mean. This experiment killed my ability to actually <laughs> taste or guess. Does the color of beef affect the taste of beef? 
Mm. Before you are three different colored beefs. You're going to try the cooked version of each beef and see if you can match it to its raw color. Okay, so it's like, I, I see it's the pink, can, it's sort red, of, dark. It's very hard to see that on camera, but to the human eye right now, they, they get darker this way. Okay, so we're trying to match the taste. Huh. Correct. So, so what's your preconceived notion here? I don't have any idea. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah, I've never thought I about mean, this. If you were buying these, which one would you buy? Just well, based on I would looks. think. Well, I would think that I like, think that one had more fat. That was why it was. This is almost lighter. pork, right? But but the dark. Let's let's try this. This one looks like sausage. I have to think that it's lighter because the fat content is higher and it cooked down more. Yeah, put it behind it and push it forward. So we agree on that. Now we're down to this and it's. These are pretty close and if we just go by the color that they are when cooked. Oh, but this is darker. So then we would just do this. What do you think about the quality of the different colored meats that you see? I, f I would go with the middle one, the, the most bright red one. This is my so, favorite, this is my favorite flavor. Okay, well your, your taste agrees with my Tasting eyes. Tasting them again. That's the best flavor, I think. So the least red should be plate number two, which I believe is correct. Plate number two, yes. Least red. Followed by plate number one. Oh yes. yeah. Yes. And plate number three. Yeah, so we were right. We got them right. So the highest, the quality, quality, highest quality meat, is it the dar so darkest? So according we to the USDA, fresh ground beef starts out off at a purplish color. Once okay. exposed to air, the meat turns a bright cherry red color. That means the optimum surface color for fresh beef is cherry red. The more time that passes, it'll cause the meat to fade to less appealing colors. Oh. But this does not mean the meat has gone bad. So when you're shopping for your beef, you do always want to look for the bright cherry red color, but if it's a darker color, it doesn't have anything to do with the quality of the meat per se, just how long it's been sitting out. So which one's the best one? The freshest one is the one in the middle, the bright right. cherry red color. And I do think that that tasted better. But you know what? You like meat that's been sitting out for a long time. As long as it's got fat in it. <laughs> So the previous tests have shown us the science behind how color affects the taste of food. We've Using discovered so much. What you've learned, let's see if you can straight up taste colors. Okay. <laughs> Put your blindfolds on. Yeah, I think I think I can. And I want I you think each I can to too. tell me what color M&M &M you think you're eating. Okay. Starting with the first one in three, two, one. Oh. It definitely is an M&M. &M. Yellow. Blue. It was blue. <laughs> What'd you taste? I blue. tasted blue. I tasted yeah. yellow. Yeah. All right, let's see that next M&M. &M. Okay, and eat. Oh, thank you. Definitely oh, no. another M&M. &M. That's yellow. Nope. Orange. That was orange. Whoa, you can do it, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, let's see the next one. And let's eat. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Okay, this one definitely tastes different. Oh, no, that one is the yellow one now. You're right, yellow. Yep. Red. Oh, man. Next. And eat. Oh, whoa, that tastes very different. Mm. Green. It tasted what I thought was the last one, but. This is it, this is yellow. Brown. Oh. oh. No, that one's different. Brown is actually mostly yellow. All right, let's see the next one. Okay. Mmm. They are different, but I think it's the peanut that I'm tasting different. But I do think that is yellow. Um, green. It's green. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Link, you got a superpower. Okay, this is the last yeah. one. What other colors are there? And let's go. Ooh. Orange. Yellow. <laughs> it's yellow. <laughs> Dude, hey, right. hold on. You got four out of six right, right? Yeah. I'm a little disappointed I didn't get all of them, but yeah, I can uh, I can taste colors. <laughs> hey, we need to set up a state fair little sideshow thing. That'd be great.
people bring their foods yeah. to me, and I would just be blindfolded, and I would just be fed stuff. Man. That'd be great. That can be a backup career for you. We've learned so much. Link's got a special power. Get the red beef. And uh, subscribe and click that bell. That's right. You know what time it is. This, this is Mikey, Mikey and Kara from Knoxville, Tennessee. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality with a tangy burn. <laughs> <laughs> Click the top link to watch us compare dyed and undyed foods and your mythical more. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land, go with the flow, get our new neon accessories now at mythical.com.